And then you also have David and Joku, right? So I think Amari Cooper has a huge year. I personally am not high in David and Joku whatsoever. I think he's just a like throwing your pick in the trash kind of pick. Jeez. But you you like David and Joku. I like David and Joku because I think it's going to be very hard to put the tube, the toothpaste back in the tube. Like you unlocked his efficiency as a receiving tight end option. And like, why wouldn't you want to target him? He's a, a giant tall dude who can play the middle of the field. He can produce yards after the catch. Like there's not a ton that he can't do in terms of his physicality, his athleticism, his size. Like he's got the ideals across the board. It's just like, Deshaun Watson needs to figure out how to use them. But and why did, so the first six years of his career, no one could figure out how to use him, right? Because he didn't, really, I mean, he never had more than four touchdowns, never had more than 640 receiving yards in a season. Last year, he breaks out, but not until Joe Flacco comes. Joe Flacco, who loves his tight ends. He loves nothing more than the target of tight end. And literally, David Njoku was having another disastrous year. Until Joe Flacco came in. So weeks one. So was Deshaun Watson. Oh, yeah, I know. It's going to have kind of an impact. But we've seen Deshaun Watson be good before in his career. Yeah. what We've never seen David and Joe be good. How long ago was that? That was like. I hope Watson's bad. I was just. That's not the point. I I was like. I'm focusing on David and Joe. 2021? 2020. I don't know. Yeah. 2020 was the last time we saw Deshaun Watson play good football. Maybe it was 2021. Anyways. It doesn't matter. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, David and Joker, weeks 1 through 13, averaged 42 receiving yards per game and had two total receiving touchdowns, averaged 7.3 fantasy points per game. So pretty much the whole entire fantasy season. And then if you got lucky and picked him up off of waivers, where he would have been before when they you know, signed Joe Flacco, you had those huge weeks during the fantasy championship and playoffs. I get it. That's with Joe Flacco only, weeks 14 through 19. He didn't play in week 18. Averaged 93 receiving yards per game, had four touchdowns, and averaged 18.3 fantasy points per game. All of his fantasy points came in that four-week span, and that is just where it came from. So I'm not drafting David and Joku where he's going. If he was like a last-round pick, maybe, but he's like a ninth-round pick. A last-round pick? Even then, I might not take him. Jeez. I just If you're going to be optimistic for this offense, I think like – Looking at their receiving core, yeah, Jerry Judy is an upgrade over. Well, think about how good Deshaun Watson just, like, was with Houston, and he only had Hopkins. It's not like he passed to a tight end. No, but sometimes I'm, I'm he saying, had Will Fuller. I think David and Joku is the second best receiver on that football team. Maybe. So if That's he fair. is effectively the wide receiver too on this offense that you think is going to focus heavily on the pass, I'll take. David and Joku. You do it. Mm. I can't get do on board. It. Do it. Be your bet. Be your bet. More. I, I also, the thing about yes. Watson is he's going to run more. He's going to pass more and run more because that's what Ken Dorsey does. He runs with his quarterbacks. Okay. Again, I hope I'm not beer betting that because I don't want Watson to be good. I will beer bet uh, David and Tight end 10 or better or worse. How about that? Yeah, that's fine. Tight end time. Even though tight, he was tight in nine in 2022 and he was absolute garbage. So like he did nothing in 2022. But tight end 10 is I think around tight end, where he's being drafted. Tight end eight or higher or lower. Because if you're a tight end eight, nine, or ten, you were useless anyways. No, because I, I don't believe he's going to be a top six tight end. I think top ten tight end no, is and why are you even dropping? Because him he's being I'm just saying that's where he's being drafted. I think his draft cost is very fair. 